How would the Khilafah deal with sectarianism? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sectarian and ethnic conflict in the Muslim world is usually fueled by political parties for their own benefit, as they seek to exploit the utter failure of the political system in delivering adequate services and rights to its citizens. These very same political parties, once in power for pure survival, exaggerate and encourage these differences and conduct politics in a sectarian manner, which leads to paralysis in government over major decisions and to conflict in the streets. The Khilafah, a state being built upon Islam and not nationalism, tribalism or any other form of divisive asabiyah shall see all the people as Muslim ummah and protected non-Muslims. It shall strive to deliver services and development to all without any discrimination and based upon the understanding that as people begin to see sincere efforts being made to address their problems, this shall reduce tensions and also remove as it often the case, the momentum behind the militia organizations who are usually externally funded. Islam recognizes there will be differences in some aspects of legal matters. This is not something new and in fact is something that led to the development of Islamic thought, fiqh and usul in the past. Ikhtilaf or difference, or as it means difference, may exist over a number of matters. However, differences do not exist in the basic issues such as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His existence, angels, books, heaven and hell, and the like. Therefore, there is the, the qatai definite and evidence that is conclusive and definite. And whatever one sees of madhab, sect, or group adopts as an opinion, this must be based on some evidence, and that such evidence must not contradict something that is absolutely khatai or definite. If this is the case, then one can hold such a view as it is based on an Islamic dalil or evidence, even if others believe it to be weak. This is because any opinion which has a dalil and evidence and does not contradict the definite evidences is an Islamic opinion. The Khilafah will not institute an adoptive view on the Akhidah when all the various groups as across the Islamic lands have the same Akhidah.